so lattic translational vector so what is the meaning of the lattic translational vector so first of first we said no the what is the meaning of the lattic and what is the meaning of the basis actually when we are telling about the crystal structure that is the combination of the lattic and the basis these two things are there lattic and basis so what is the lattic the translationally periodic arrangement of point in space here i have taken the ions or molecules they are arranging arrangement periodic arrangement they have as i have you have seen this here their points are here it is given and their periodic arrangement they have in space each point is called the lattic point this one on one point which you have seen this point is called the lattic point so this is your lattic what is the meaning of basis it is the set of particles uh, or atoms molecules or ions which you have taken placed on each lattic point is a lattic point when there is a set of atoms and molecules molecules ions are there set of molecules in each one point yeah that is called the uh, they have each lattic point to give rise uh, to crystals so that means when we are mixing the basis and the lattic this combination is called your crystal structure the crystal structure will come here so our aim is to find out the what is the lattic transition vector so as i have told you this is the point regular arrangement they have and the basis are there one on points there is a one atoms molecules and ions are there so when we are telling about the translational vector our that main theme is the lattic translational vector so it is basically denoted by the letter t and this vector symbols are there so as here i have taken the lattic points and they have arrangement and here as i have told you this at 1 2 3 4 4 uh, points are there this side 1 2 3 4 5 6 points are there so o and o here i have taken from this to this the same distance this to this also the same distance that means ob and oa has the same distance let ob o to a the point which i have taken this particles to this point to this one that i have taken the a and this point o point to uh, b point ob that i have taken b that is i have told you uh, they are at equal distance oa and ob are at equal distance this is a point this is the distance a and this is the distance b so any lattic point p is described in terms of here i have taken the lattic point p here i have taken uh, in described in terms of vector t so we have to describe lattic point p so t is equal to here the translational vector t is equal to na plus nb na plus nb that means n1a and plus n1 n2b so now as i have told you what is a and b are the equal distance as i have told you n1 and what is n1 and n2 this is the n1 and n2 these two things are the integers okay these two things are the integers and t is equal to transitional vectors actually this is uh, which i have told you that is for the two dimensional we will come to the three dimensional also so n1 and n2 here uh, for these things as i have told you the combination the transitional vector is equal to n1 a plus n2 b so here n1 what is the value of n1 and what is the value n2 that is coming let me explain these things how we can find out the transitional vector so now what is the value of the t here the t value here we can write as 5 5a plus 3b this is the t value here because this side we are counting uh, the 1 2 3 4 5 and this sound counting as 1 2 3 this is the value of t here so for the three dimensional this is that for the two dimensional and for the three dimensional 
uh, how we can write these things um, here we can write for three dimensional three dimensional we can write t is equal to n1 a plus n2 b plus n3 c and here a b c a vector b vector and c vector are the these are called the dimensional these are called the lattic parameters this is called the lattic parameters this is called the lattic parameters and uh, this one the direction of lattic vectors are called the direction of lattic vectors lattic vectors are called this is called uh, your lattice axis or crystalline axis lattic axis this is the things this is called a lattic dimensional vector for the three dimensional and that was for the two dimensional 